Hi there YouTube, so today I'm going to be doing a, uh, I was going to say I'm going to do YouTube. I'm going to be doing an eyebrow tutorial for you guys, just to show you guys how I kind of, um, am starting to shape my own eyebrows, um, I have already re re I have mentioned this at the end of this video and in another tutorial, but I don't like the way the nail shops are doing my eyebrows, so I'm going to start doing them myself. And I know a lot of you guys ask me, Heather, how do you do your eyebrows? And I can never really tell you guys anything except for I go to the, to the nail shop and they wax them. So I'm going to start doing my own eyebrows, but it is going to be a long process. You're going to have to, if they get messed up, you're going to have to grow them out and you're going to have to look, you know, a little deranged for a bit, but, um... The end result really does pay off in my opinion. This is what my eyebrows look like right now. This is what I did today. Um, before, if you guys see my old haul, this one was super round. Now it's got a little bit of a uh, an arch coming in. Um, I'm still going to work on that. I have to grow it out. This one I also fixed and I put my arch a little bit further back because it, it goes better with my eye shape. I told you guys before my camera, or I told you guys when my camera cut off at the end of this video that I have a long... Um, length of an eyebrow. It's pretty It's pretty long, so when my um, arch was a little bit more over here, it kind of looked weird having such a short eyebrow with a long eye. And I don't like that because I don't think it fits my face personally. So um, this is how I'm going to start doing my own eyebrows. I'll keep you guys updated. I'll do an updated eyebrow um, routine video once these ones start to grow and I kind of get them exactly how I want them. Then I'll show you guys how to keep your eyebrows groomed the way you like them. And, um, with all that being said, just go ahead and enjoy the tutorial. I hope it helps out a little bit. Um, let me give a quick shout out to Baby Nisa, Make Me Up 89. I was actually watching her eyebrow tutorial, and, um, she does a really, really good job of showing you how to thread your eyebrows, and I thought that was amazing. So this was the first time I ever tried to thre thread my own eyebrows, and I think I did a pretty good job. So if you guys want to see, um, how to thread it with somebody who knows how to thread it, you guys can check out her video. I'll link it at the bottom. But, um, I show you guys how to kind of thread um, how to, uh, tweeze, and then kind of shape them up. Also, um, I didn't show you guys this part in the video, but you can do your, uh, unibrow area as well, and I just tweeze that part. So, I hope that you guys enjoy this, and keep watching. First thing I'm gonna do is take my little brush and comb my eyebrows down. That way when I'm going in to take out hairs, my longer hairs of my eyebrows don't get snagged. <clears throat> and then you're gonna go ahead and take your thread okay and we're going to take it twist it a few times put it over the area that you want threaded and pull okay let me try to show you guys that again this time I kind of move my setup around so that I could try to get this as clear as possible okay so, put it over the hair and just kind of pull it like that. This is my first time ever trying to wax or trying to thread my own eyebrows. So, don't get discouraged if you feel like you can't do it. I'm, you know, trying it on my own. And you guys can do that too. And then you can also get above the eyebrow. If you feel like you're getting to a spot that's a little bit too close, this is where we're going to start to bring in our tweezers. So I'm going to comb all this down still. And you're going to take your tweezers and just pull in the direction in which your hair grows. Once you have done what you think is, you know, pretty decent and you think you've got most of what you don't want there, now we're going to start working on the inside. Now, when it comes to your eyebrows, you want to make sure that they fit the shape of your eye and that they help fit um, your, bot or your head. Now, some people tend to do their eyebrows either too small or you know too long or anything like that and I have like really long eyebrows so I have to kind of make sure that they go with my face now the best way to do that is to know um, you know where your nose goes over the front part of your brow or over the front part of your eye 
And that's usually where you want to start. Um, now, if you guys watched my haul video that I recently put up, um, it was recorded at, like about a week ago. Um, but I talk about how I don't like the way the nail shop is doing my eyebrows anymore because they're starting to do them too round. So right now it's a process. You'll be able to tell that I still have hair um, there. And I don't want to mess with it because I want it to grow out. That way I can start making this arch more like this one um, because my face looks better with arched eyebrows rather than round um, so what you want to do is you just want to kind of go from you know the end of point of your nose across your eye and over and you'll see where you're going to want to start putting your arching so see that is where we're going to want to put it now um, the way they did it is they kind of did mine a little bit different than what I normally used to do them um, if you can see my natural hair right here, it goes up higher right here. So that is where, you know, most, um, that would, would be where I would put my arch. But if you can tell, it doesn't necessarily go well with my eye. So I kind of do it a little bit over just because I want a little bit more hair right here. If that makes sense to you guys. And then the ends always go matched up with the ends and then the fronts and the fronts. So just to make sure that you guys kind of keep your brows um, you know, the length that they're supposed to be. Take, you know, a brush, take a pencil, anything, and go from the end of your nose to the end of your brow. And that is about how long your brows should be. And then from this midsection of the nose up, that is about how far in you should take your brows. Um, some people, I've seen some people chop off way too much over here. I see them let them grow out way too close over here. Um, you know, so you just want to kind of make sure that you do it to where it fits your face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take all mine right into there. So I'm going to brush my hairs up to prevent me from you know, grabbing too much because now we're going to tweeze. Um, you could continue on with the threading process if you wanted to. I feel that it works best for me if I actually just tweeze them. So like I said, pull them in the direction that your hair grows. And you'll just see all the stray hairs that you're going to need to get. I'm going to go ahead and kind of get rid of the majority of them and then show you guys how to kind of start to shape up the eyebrow. Once you have started to kind of, <clears throat> you know, tweeze out the unwanted hairs, this is when you're going to start to kind of start shaping um, your portion. Now don't, when you're tweezing, just try to get all of this closest to the eyelid. Don't try to get too close to the brow because then you're not, you're, it's going to be harder to shape them if you mess up by pulling out the wrong hair. So I'm going to comb my hairs up. And what I'm going to do is since I want my um, arch to be a little bit more over here now, I'm just going to start to tweeze out very small amounts of hair. Okay, and then if you want to make sure that you're not, that you're, you know, you're taking out the right parts, just kind of comb it back down so that you can see um, your brow starting to take place. I'm going to comb this part up. And then once you start getting to the ending port, port, the ending part of your brow, that's when you need to start kind of getting a little bit thinner, just so that you can kind of get that contrast of a, you know, an arched eyebrow. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of start to tweeze closest to, um, as close to the brow as you can get without being super close. I don't know if that makes sense. The most hair that you guys are going to want to take out of your brows is right where the arch is. You don't want to take out a whole bunch. Um, I've seen this happen so many times. They actually did it the time that they did my eyebrow and they took out way too much right in here. And you don't want to do that because one, it's going to make your eyebrows look too unnatural. And so, you guys can kind of see. what I have done and for me that is you know pretty good for now um, I'm gonna keep letting my brows grow <clears throat> so that they can fully get back to the way that I want them so if you guys can kind of see what 
when I did it to where I said that my eyebrows could kind of start looking like they're getting a little bit um, more arched. But I wanted my arch to start a little bit further this time because they were starting it too close, which isn't good for my eyes because I have pretty, um, you know, not big, big eyes, but they're pretty um, long. 